When I first started this long road of basketball, what consumed me was being the best basketball player I could be. Now I was reminiscing about my whole career. I had a whole different appreciation for the game itself. Look at the air, look at the hang time, look at the flying motion. It has evolved to be more than just a game. It's been a, a teacher of life. Slam Dunk Legacy started during his rookie year at the 1985 Slam Dunk Contest. Then I close your eyes because I mean, I never see that again. There he goes. He goes in straight, goes up in the air. Now he's sideways. Look at the air. Look at the hang tie. Look at the flying motion. Look at his head above the rim. That is Air Jordan at his best. It looked like he was in an F-16 that time. that guy to deal with the Detroit Pistons. You know, they were the one person that's saying, you're not so hot, you know, we can stop you. For three straight years, the Bulls would meet the Pistons in the playoffs. And for three straight years, they would suffer a bitter defeat. Pistons have moved on, but you really gotta feel for this man right here. Chicago Bulls continue to frustrate themselves and their fans. I felt it was very disappointing each and every time that we ended up getting to this hurdle and couldn't get over it. The Pistons return to the NBA Finals for the third straight time. I felt that we were going to lose out on this opportunity in terms of my leadership and what I had to do on the basketball court. I was going to do whatever I had to do to get us a championship. Returning to the conference finals, they found their tormentors, the Pistons, waiting once again. But this time, things would be different. I remember looking directly in his eyes, and it was like, whatever you do, whatever you say, we're going to beat you. And once you get him like that, all you can do is move aside because there's no stopping this freight train. 